Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name's Kenny. I am a hillbilly and I've been working on RVs for a long, long time. This is, uh, this is gonna be tech talk number five. So, y'all may have noticed, I had my gloves on. So what in the world are we gonna be talking about in this tech talk? Uh, we're gonna be talking about the macerator pump. Um, the, if, you, if you're following along with my videos and been following along, the video that posted just before this one, uh, we replaced the macerator pump, just the pump itself, not the housing. I realized when I was editing that video, I really didn't do a very good job of explaining what a macerator pump is and how it works. So here we are. We're gonna talk about this. We're gonna go in depth as far as I can go. I don't, I don't know a lot about macerator pumps. It's the first one I ever worked on. Uh, we worked on this back in May. We diagnosed it, um, figured out we had a bad pump. We ordered a pump, and here it is, 1st of July, and we just got our pump. So uh, we got it fixed. Everybody's happy. Uh, it was an extended warranty company. I got paid. They paid. They actually paid everything I asked for. So when you, when you have that happen, it is a good day. Bonnie's gonna try and help us, I guess. Bonnie don't even know what we're doing, but she's like, I can help. Or you can rub on me anyway. Don't get on my shirt. I don't want your hair all over my shirt. All right, we're gonna get Bonnie out of the way and we're gonna tear into this thing and we're gonna explain more about it. This particular macerator pump is a Tetford. It is a part number 97518. Tetford. So let's get this thing out of the box here real quick. All right, so this is our ma macerator housing. The pump is inside of this housing. Uh, as you'll see, now remember uh, the video where I changed this pump, we left the housing. So this is a brand new housing. As you can see, it has a three inch outlet on each side. And on this side, it has a three inch I shouldn't say outlet because they're ins and outs, but it has three inch ports on all four sides. And then we've got this, I don't know, about an inch and a half. Um, this is where the, the pump hose comes out of here. It's about the size of a vacuum cleaner hose. If you've never seen one of these, uh, it comes out of here and it's got, you know, I don't know, it's probably got a 20 foot hose on it. And it's got the fitting that goes down in your, a lot of your, um, a lot of your campgrounds will have a, a threaded fitting in the ground for your sewer and stuff. So it's got one of those ends on it. What this thing does is just when you open your, your valves on your, on your black tanks, your gray tanks, the, whatever's in those tanks comes in here to this housing and it either bypasses the macerator pump and comes out one of these three inch outlets to a, to a normal, you know, a stinky slinky sewer hose. Um, or if you want to macerate, then you pull your valves, you turn the macerator on and it pumps out of here. You may ask yourself, what are the advantages of a macerator pump? Do I need one? Can't answer that. Um, I asked the gentleman, like I say, this is the first one I ever worked on. Um, I asked the gentleman, I was like, well, what, you know, what's the advantages of the macerator pump? He said, man, I can empty my tanks in like four minutes. I'm thinking, well, how long does it take to empty your tanks normally? I mean, it's still a, you know, is a, is a three inch outlet. You pull them handles, uh, you know, your black tanks is usually a three inch or your gray tanks are an inch and a half or two inch. I mean, they're gonna drain in four minutes anyway. So I don't really know the, the advantages of having a macerator pump. Um, if anybody out there can explain to us, you know, why, why would you want one of these? Um, is it a must have for RVers? I mean, I do not know. So if somebody can help us out, that'd be awesome. Um, so I'm gonna zoom back in here a little bit and uh, we're gonna pull the lid off this thing. All right, there's eight screws 
that hold this cover on and uh, they run through this little aluminum thing and go like that. There's two on each side, okay? And then also there was eight screws here which held this thing in a frame, a metal frame in that wet compartment. So anyhow, all the screws are removed. So the lid comes off. It is O-ringed here. Uh, this is uh, that over there's a receiver groove for this O-ring here. And uh, so when that lid goes on, it's all it's O-ring, so you don't have any leaks. Now, like I said, we changed this pump. So there are four steel screws that hold this pump in this housing. All right, we're gonna pull this pump out and I got a couple things to show you here. Now, normally these wires would be sticking out of this little hole. Let me just go ahead and do that real quick, just for demonstration purposes. All right, so this particular pump had four wires. All right, your white wire is your ground and you see one of the blue wires goes to the ground. Your black wire was a 12 volt positive and there was, there was 12 volt uh, power on this pump at all times. This blue wire went up in the coach to a relay that was under the bed where most of the electrical stuff was at on this motorhome. So that uh, when you flip the switch to turn this on, like I say, there's constant power here. So when you flip the switch to turn this on, actually what you do is complete a ground circuit here uh, that some, turns this thing on. Because uh, this thing has a overheat protection, some kind of overheat protection inside of it. And that's what these blue wires are all about. Um, I don't understand all that. I just know that that's when we diagnosed it back in May, we figured all that stuff out. And that's why we figured when we finally figured out that we were getting all of our, you know, we had our power and grounds, our switch was, you know, completing the ground circuit. It should turn the pump on, but it wasn't. So we had a bad pump. Now these wires go through a grommet. I'll show you that right now. There's the, hope this shows up good. There's a grommet that goes through this housing and uh, seals where those wires come through. Now. This outlet right here, where the, where the outlet for the macerator pump is, that, that hose that's about the size of a, a vacuum cleaner hose. All right, this is this one right here. And it is O-ringed. And it slides. When you slide this pump in this housing, I hope you can see this, this kind of slides down in a groove right here. And that seals, that seals the pump to this case and then the four screws hold it down like I say those were steel screws and uh, when I first saw those screws I was like oh lordy we ain't never gonna get them screws out I didn't figure we'd ever get a, a Phillips bit in it but actually um, those must be some pretty good quality screws because we did get them all out no problems uh, just kind of a kind of a messy place to work but uh, but this is that pump. This is the macerator pump. It sets in here just like this. That, so this is down. It's got an impeller. And uh, I mean, the, the, all the, everything that, when you pull your, when you pull your valves, uh, everything in your sewer tank comes in here and it will be picked up by this impeller, chewed up nice and small and sent right out this pipe uh, to uh, exit the vehicle. Uh, like I say, I really don't know, uh, I don't know the advantage of this thing other than it's a, a retail on this uh, pump was like 400 and some dollars. And I'll tell you now, if we had had to have done all this plumbing, this would have been an absolute nightmare job. Uh, two of these, two of these three inch fittings were just capped off in the motor home. So they were only using two. Um, this thing, that motor home that this thing was in was a, was a plumbing nightmare. 
uh, it had valves and pipes, sewer pipes running everywhere. I think it had, I think it had two black tanks and two gray tanks or something. I don't know, but it was a nightmare. But uh, that's really about all I know about this thing. Uh, I know that uh, the guy was happy, happy to get it going again, and uh, I was happy to, I was happy that it worked when we got done. So there you have it. That's uh, that's really about all I know about a macerator pump. Um, I don't. I just don't know what else to say about it. Um, it just. It seems like to me, it's just just something else to go wrong. I know. Uh, you know they make like a inline, what I would call an inline macerator pump um, that just goes on your outlet, uh, on your, your three-inch outlet on your RV. And just like a sewer hose, it just, it's got the little fingers on it that uh, you twist lock it. And uh, I think those basically grind everything up and send it out of a hose about the size of a garden hose. And uh, I mean, the only time that I can see a macerator pump might be an advantage is if you're, you know, I've seen some campgrounds um, that maybe their their sewer inlets, you know, in the ground, or maybe a little on the high side. And some RVs, you know, sometimes the the sewer hose or the sewer line coming out of the RV is kind of low, uh, especially some travel trailers and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, then you can pump this uphill a little bit. I'm sure you couldn't pump it uphill very far, but you can pump it uphill a little ways, I'm sure. Um, but there again, you know. Uh, you're probably only going to see these on, you know, motorhomes like upper end motorhomes. Well, they're going to be tall anyway. They're they're usually kind of taller off the ground, you know. So I don't know. Um, anyhow, that's uh, that's all I got on this macerator pump. Just a really quick video today. Um, I wish that I had taken. I, I just when I when I'm doing a video like doing this repair, I'm more concerned about. You know, getting the repair done and do it done correctly without mistakes. And I just forget to explain things sometimes. So that's why I've done this video, just a really quick video, just to, to help explain what this macerator pump is, how it works. And um, that's all I've got. So uh, thanks for stopping by and watching my videos. Um, really do appreciate it. The channel's growing. Um, and that, that's you guys and gals. Uh, a lot of gals out there. Um, I love it. Uh, a lot of the comments are coming from uh, from the ladies fixing stuff, and I love that. Uh, I love it when ladies fix things. So um, just thank you, everybody. You know that's supporting the channel. Watch my videos. Don't forget to give them thumbs up. Share them with your friends if you have not yet. Please subscribe. And uh, this is Sunday. I am not going to go up road and fix another one. I think actually me and my wife are going to play some cornhole and. Uh, uh, we're just going to enjoy the rest of our Sunday. So, uh, hey, y'all have a fantastic day. And